la 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 Y'all, welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. This is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Y'all, to all of the new subscribers, welcome to the family. Okay, we a little, this, this, this is a slightly dysfunctional family sometimes. We don't judge, we don't cuss, we don't fuss, we don't do all of that dumb shit. We don't do that. We love, we enlighten, we share. Okay, we grow, we evolve. We don't do that extra shit, right? Um, this is not the judgmental zone nor the flex zone. Okay, the only time you flexing is you flexing for growth. You understand? But all the extra shit, we don't do that over here. All right, all right. So Leo's, uh, this will be from the 15th to the 31st of August. Okay, um, y'all know y'all still got that birthday special, right? For 40 bucks, 40 buckaroonies for 30 minutes. Okay, um, for everyone else, it does end beforehand. For you guys, it is going on um, until the 20. This, okay, so I love y'all. I know y'all don't like long intros. Leo, Leo's got shit to do. All right, let's get it. So this was not a personal; it's a general. If you need a personal, in the description box. All right, so let's get it. Leo, the first message comes uh, for um, my y'all. Excuse me, with Mercury on my ass. Mercury and Mocha does not go together. Mars and Mocha does for my Aries ass, but Mercury and Mo Mocha don't go together. It be fucking up my speech. All right, so far. Stay with me, baby. Okay. So the first message you guys got from the Crystal Angels uh Doreen Virtue Deck is motivate. Pretty green card. Now y'all need to get grounded too. Unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. <laughs> I ain't gotta tell y'all that. <laughs> you were born that way. You're effing Leo. <laughs> This card reassures that your unique qualities are a part of your life purpose. It's possible that you've been teased or felt excluded for being different. Perhaps you've tried to change yourself to fit in and be normal, yet doing so is betraying who you are and ignoring the blessings and gifts of your authentic self. If it seems that your opinions and thinking style are not the same as those of other people, this is a sign of your creativity. I'm sorry, this is a sign of your creative ability. You have inventive fresh ideas and talents that the world needs. You see things in a new way, which will inspire others out of their stagnation. Seek out other unconventional people so that you won't feel so alone. You may encounter like-minded people at clubs, conventions, and other gatherings focus up, focusing upon areas that are aligned with your interests. Like Motivite, you are otherworldly. Yet, fortunately, there are many others who share your origins and point of view. It's just a matter of going out and finding them, Leo. So don't be afraid during this time to try new things. A lot of y'all is feeling sexy, okay? A lot of y'all are looking over your past. You got past people coming from the uh, coming from past options coming from the past during this time, which could include a water sign, okay, an air sign, as well as a fire sign. A lot of y'all are having very strong. Your faith is solid during this time, all right? A lot of y'all are truly walking. Walking the lifestyle of living blind faith. During this time, y'all, y'all, third eye is going to be booming and blooming. And a lot of y'all are going to move in a very, some of y'all are moving very seductive. Like, and when I mean seductive, I don't mean like you finna go and bust it down. Some of y'all might, it's your birthday season, bust it down, file, to bust it down. Just be, be, make sure that you're using protection because if you ain't looking for no babies, this energy is in the building right now. So you better be careful. All right, some of y'all um, during this time are balancing, you're centering yourself, you're getting back centered. A lot of y'all are finding a lot of y'all centered when being in nature during this time. A lot of y'all are needing to go outside, stay active. Um, I am seeing a balancing of a masculine and a feminine energy um, that is going to move you in a new place as far as opening up your heart chakra and allowing you to move forward in love. Some of y'all have been faithfully waiting on a union, okay? I see nothing but beautiful unions, especially if it's dealing with water, air, fire, or the self, okay? A lot of y'all have been faithfully waiting for things. You've been keeping the faith on the situation to go into your favor. It is going to, all right? Some of y'all have been, during this time, you're going to be working on the way that you communicate, 
Some of y'all are noticing how your communication in the past have affected certain relationships and certain opportunities for you. So you're going to be moving forward in a new way, one with wisdom as well as a little bit of tact in how you communicate. And it's going to bring you blessings in doing so, especially when if you're dealing with an air sign, an air sign who some of y'all could actually be pregnant by or have a child by or trying to renew something with during this time. I'm also seeing um, the energy around fire. Some of y'all could be starting something new, uh, something that you're very, very, very passionate about. For some of y'all, it's involving an Aries. Some of y'all could be pregnant or trying to birth something or start something new with an Aries. It's going to be blessed. You've been having faith in the situation. And with loving yourself, your vibration during this time is bringing that energy back into you. Congratulations. You were made. You were master manifest Leo. Okay. So watch your thoughts. All right. A lot of y'all were... Um, a lot of y'all have an air sign, Libra, coming back from the past, and this person wants to communicate with you. This person could have put you in a third-party situation, and this person could be coming in. Their intention, believe it or not, y'all, I ain't going to lie, they still coming in with this three-party energy. But for some of y'all, y'all going to cut it off and not allow that shit back into your world because you done fell in love with yourself again. Do you see how sexy I am, Libra? <laughs> put some respect on it. <laughs> how about that? All right? So let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Leos between the 15th and the 31st of August? What can they expect? Who's coming? What are their intentions for how they're going to grow? Where are they going in careers? Show me. Thank you. Yeah. Some of y'all have been really wishing and praying for a water sign to come back. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on the Scorpio. Here they, I mean, so on the Pisces. Here they come. For some of y'all, you want to work it out with someone from your past, a water sign. For some of y'all, who, who just started a job, um, some of y'all are going to be starting new jobs as well during this time. And it's actually a job that you want to do. Some of y'all are working on building a relationship, possibly with a Libra or a water sign, after receiving some form of truthful communication in order for that. For that offer to be nurtured, okay? For some of y'all, you're making it work in a family situation. Y'all are healing a family situation with someone who you have kids with, possibly an uh, earth sign, Capricorn, or Virgo. You're renewing the love in that relationship, okay? For some of y'all, you have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius from your past. You want to start something new and birth something new with this person. You manifested this person into your world. But for some of y'all, you're going to get a lesson of, of what, what I need. Ain't always what I want, okay? And uh, or what I want ain't always what I need. And you're going to end cycles with people. Some of y'all who've had tumultuous cycles with uh, with an air sign, y'all, okay, that you have kids with, you're going to be coming out of that. You're needing to make a decision possibly between an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and a water sign because I feel like you really took so your mind may have wanted one person and the heart may have wanted someone else. And I feel like during this time, you manifested both of these people. <laughs> so it could be you with this third party energy that's kind of coming in around you. And I feel like the lesson of that was communicating truthfully about what it is that you want. Because I feel like both of these people have something of the other one. But some of y'all, you're going into a new cycle with an Aries. Okay, you're needing to make a decision or you or this other person is needing to make a decision. Because for some of y'all, there's a lot of passion in the situation. Okay, but a third party, a third party situation that happened in the past needs to be discuss and adjust before y'all can move forward. But some of y'all are going to blind faith. Some of y'all going to take that leap of faith right off that damn cliff. Some of y'all definitely have an Aries that's a soulmate to y'all. And this th third party energy on this person, possibly between yourself and the water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of y'all, some of y'all are getting promoted to be a boss during this time or some form of like management. Congratulations, baby. Um, yeah, some of y'all are definitely going to fix your family situation. You've been hoping, praying, wishing for this moment, baby, and here it comes. Some of y'all have a water sign that's coming in. This person is passionate. They don't have staying power. Same thing with the Aries Leo Sagittarius. You may have a family with this person, but this person has not gotten serious as far as their spiritual awakenings and things. This person want to uh, still party and do what the hell it is that they want to do. And here you are falling in love with yourself, have new opportunities coming with people who actually want to grow with you, okay? And so you just like, hold the fuck, pump the brakes. Who, what, where, huh, what? Some of y'all have an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, who wants to heal the situation with you. They want to fix it. They want their boo back. Some of y'all uh, have a family situation with the Pisces or Sagittarius that you've been having faith through, okay? 
you are going to have, but just it is going to go in your favor in that situation, but it has to do with forward communication, okay? Some of y'all really want this Aries. Some of y'all have a defensive Aries that you're trying to work things out with. You want to hold on to this person, okay? You see this person is worth holding on to. But some of y'all, you could be being a big controlling of this person is being a big controlling. Some of y'all are trying to move forward and go leave a job. And you have a boss. This this could be a boss that is kind of hold, trying to hold you back. You have to break free. You're going to break free of that confinement and that boss. You're going to actually just get the hell up and say, I tried to put my two weeks notice in. Yes, yeah, didn't want to hear that. So fuck you. I'm out. I not already got the job lined up. I'm out this bitch. And in doing so, <laughs> you're going to be where you need to be financially as far as moving to another job. Some of y'all have been really working very, very, very hard for the recognition that you want at work. You're going to get it. Some of y'all are definitely thinking about this damn y'all. This Aries keep coming up. I got the Emperor card on the board twice. Some of y'all could also be one in the union with the father of your child who could possibly be an Aries. Just is going to go in your favor. But those of you who have to take a cancer, okay, a cancer. Some of y'all, you're putting down your burdens as far as it pertaining to a cancer. You have a fire sign also that can burden the head out of you. This person is going to come forward. And you thought that they was your wish. This that person who I said your mind and your heart is in conflict about two different people. This person is in your mind. And in your mind, you think you want this person. But when they come back, only thing they can give you is good is good deal lies. So at this point, you have to be honest with yourself. What is it that I really want? For some of y'all, you've been wanting to... Um, You've been wanting for a water sign to give you a grounded, materialized offer. Here it come. Y'all been putting in this work. This person's ready to reciprocate, especially if it's a Pisces. Some of y'all um, also have an earth sign or uh, that you've been wanting to deal with and make an offer to you. Here come that offer as well. Some of y'all um, some of y'all been wishing and praying for this new job, that new job, the job of your dreams that you apply for. Here it come, baby. Congratulations. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all finances looking really good. Leo's. Finances. For those of you women who have your own business, who've been nurturing your business, baby, the coin is getting ready to file. Things are coming to a change. Some of y'all have a, a child's father coming back. And as much as you want this person to be in their life, this person is an asshole. This person worry about themselves. I love gang gang, but for some of y'all it can be an Aries, for some of y'all it could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. And you so some strong emphasis on the cancer. You done with the bullshit. You try to communicate with this person. This person ain't hearing you. For some of y'all, you've been trying to keep the court system out of the out of out of the picture. But some of y'all finna go file them damn court documents. Run me my money because you playing with me. And for some of y'all, I'm talking to the Leo who have been outside of their normal element, who've been outside of themselves. You needed to find yourself. And you 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 this Leo who I'm talking to that's coming into union with that masculine and that feminine is coming into union where you find you finding your center and falling in love with yourself again. Yeah, you're not playing with people who've been playing with you. But you're doing it in a way that's not going to bring you karma. I feel like you've tried to be fair. But the only way to fairness for some of y'all, intuitively you already know the only way to to fairness of having having it where it works out for both parties because you're tired, you don't even know if you want to keep on going in the shit if you just want to drop the damn if I want to drop my drop everything and just move the fuck on, okay? Some of y'all, you will be receiving truth and clarity. This um this new moon in Leo truly activated something. Them downloads though, because y'all guys I'm seeing y'all got them downloads too. Um the other uh, about two or three nights ago when that new moon in Leo was activated. Baby, during this Pisces full moon, I feel like a lot of y'all are going to be getting truth and clarity. Things that were hidden are coming to the surface, especially if it's involving a Scorpio. Okay? And it's either going to allow y'all to move forward or move the fuck away. But you're coming out of a cycle that's tumultuous and you're going into one more peaceful. Some of y'all have an indecisive ass air sign coming in. You're dropping the burdens on the head. You're just like, I don't know. You don't know what you want. So, I know what I want. It's not to be stuck and stagnant dealing with your indecisive ass. Some some of y'all Leos know that you need to make a decision. You have two to choose from. Again, uh, some of y'all is two fire signs, but some of y'all is a fire sign and a water sign. And you love them both. You don't want to make a decision. For some of y'all, someone who possibly made you feel left out in the past and made you feel like you put in effort and time for nothing, okay, this person is not wanting to come in and offer you this stable beginning. And for some of y'all, it's in a period of, it's in a period, it's, it's, it's going to be during this period where you've healed from the situation, 
Okay, and when this person wasn't making a decision, now they just want to come make a decision. This could be um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I'm seeing. There's going to bring change to a dynamic, I feel, for the better. Some of y'all are going to, after healing, take this cup from this water sign, baby. And if they're going to let this water sign in your life, this is going to be a very beautiful union. If only you just choose to make a decision. Some of y'all have to choose between the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, strong emphasis on Cancer, um, as well as Aries, strong emphasis on Aries. I mean, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, strong emphasis on Aries. And for some of, for some of y'all, one person offers you love and healing and the other person offers you that love, but it's, it's spontaneousness. And some of y'all going to walk right off the cliff with this person, right back into a third party situation, Aries, with these, with these, well, with this Aries, is what I'm saying. I didn't call y'all Aries. Yeah, with the Aries. Some of y'all have a indecisive ass Sagittarius coming in. One minute they want to, Offer you this cup of love. The next minute they want to move away. Some of y'all have a child with the Sagittarius. You know, during this time you've been wishing to resurrect the family situation. Okay, you've been waiting on someone to communicate to make a decision. Okay, this could be the mother and father of your child, but this person, they don't really know how to communicate effectively as you do, and so what they're going to do is juggle you and someone else. Okay, possibly another. This person has another mother, another baby mama, or wife or something they're going to juggle you and someone else you have a aries leo sagittarius this person again you are wishing for this person to come back and make things right in the family situation for some of y'all it's an aquarius i feel like this person offers you a pack y'all have a passionate a foundation set up on sex but now this person actually wants to give as much as you're giving to the relationship and for some of y'all you've been wishing for this okay However, just ensure that, that that person has walked away from that third party energy. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Somebody who left you out in the cold and put you in a third party or left you out in the cold due to a third party situation that's an earth sign. They want to come back and offer you something solid, okay? So y'all just really ending shit to walk into new shit. Some of y'all, y'all are, yeah, some of y'all are, you, you find good karma or you find justice in walking away from a Libra, okay? For some of y'all. You, some of y'all, y'all finna take a Scorpio to court straight like that and move away from even the idea of a family dynamic because this person don't really know how to communicate and they full of deception. Some of y'all are literally just moving, moving through the door of transformation. You come out of this not good enough energy. Why not me? Why, why come that person didn't choose me? Some of y'all got Taurus coming back, baby. All right, to balance things. Some of y'all are moving into a deeper commitment in marriage as well. For some of y'all getting marriage proposals, congratulations, my babies. Some of y'all are just focused, not not even going to focus on love. You're going to focus on loving yourself during this time, working on birthing new things, new businesses, new entrepreneurial ideas, new creative artistic uh, ventures. And some of y'all are going to do it by your damn self. Your money, again, looking real good. For those of you who are uh, business owners, ladies, and you left someone and you're moving forward by yourself, you dropped them burdens, baby. Some of y'all going to have the big, the big 10 by your damn self, okay? But it's God's plan. Just trust it. Trust the process. I see beauty, beauty in the form of a transformation, okay? I love y'all, baby. This is what I have for y'all between the 15th and the, 30th, and the 31st of August. Leos, stay woke. These motherfuckers be creeping. I love y'all, my babies. Until next time, if you need that personal, hit me up. Mwah. Talk to y'all later, boo.